In this video, we will get the truth about television cooking programs. They are everywhere. The prosperity of the cooking programs is due to two main reasons. We are going to find out right away. So do not forget to subscribe this channel because we are starting right now. The truth about television cooking shows. It is rare to sit down in front of the TV, zapping and not practice cooking. They are everywhere. At morning's hospitality programs, at the afternoon empty frames and at the weekend's replay. The programs are many and varied. Barbecue outdoors, mashed potatoes foam at the Tour d'Argent in Paris. Fish on the beach in Greece, holiday dinner on East Side Manhattan. The prosperity of the cooking programs is due to two main reasons. The first is the production price. Cooking shows do not need a complex script. The briefing, actors, costumes or alternating sets. Enough one set, some groceries, oven, cookware and stove all provided by the sponsor. The main ingredient is a photogenic and charismatic chef who knows talking great while he is cooking. The second reason is related to cultural media status because the cooking shows are about daily and practical activities and they are not a reality. After all, what's more real and necessary than a perfect Thanksgiving dinner or nourishing pancakes for the kids in the morning? Anyone who watches a cooking show doesn't waste his time strolling across the screen. On the contrary, watching the cooking programs we learn. Learn to perfection. Next year I will tie the turkey like Gordon Ramsay and thereby I will improve the holiday feast but the cooking shows are incredibly bland and creates harmonious and lifeless world. The Mexican who gives a recipe to grandpa's burrito doesn't speak about his immigration department number. And the turkey doesn't mention the way it went from the coop through the refrigerator truck and the clinging plastic. The cooking show is entertainment that is in the image of serious action. Now, once this is in the oven, you're halfway there. The dishes in the cooking shows always comes out fantastic because they belong to a fantasy life. The TV chef's job is not to cook, but to make food a fantasy. The portions serves to viewers must mainly go into the pot when they look great and get out of it when they look amazing. The pie looks fairy tale. The chicken is tanned and has crisp and sizzling blisters and the desserts comes out like the palace of Versailles. You will not find sand or worms on the screen. You won't smell a garlic burnt and you won't see a black sooty pan. Television visualizes food as an active environment and instead gives us a visual experience. The stew turns from food to picture. The plates vary for accessories. The sauce suits the napkin and the bottle of wine placed next to it. The viewers swallow all this production and that is why the participation of guests and tasters is so important. The guests of the food tasting show 
recite admiration and express their astonishment and demonstrate pleasure voices and contentment. Their passionate behavior and the enjoyment of the products is a theatrical substitute, is the salt and pepper of the meal. It is a confirmation of reality as a completion of the viewing experience. Eating TV food has prominent advantages. It doesn't grease, it is not dirty, doesn't cost money, and it is effortless. The TV disconnects the food from the body. The complex operations of chopping, frying, tasting, and chewing, hand-to-eye coordination, work, hustle, difficulty, and failure, frustration, and success in cooking disappears. And instead, we can sit, like a distinguished guest in the armchair, get the pea cream chewed into the brain, and just feel wonderful. The TV meal is missing the chores that accompany the gaining of food. Wandering the marketplace, or actually the supermarket parking lot. At this meal, we do not carry baskets, do not throw plastic packages, do not wash dishes. We never wait in the cooking shows. The two-hour potatoes are supposed to be soft and steamy. The artichoke to be filled with mutton is already peeled and ready for work. The beef bourguignon cauldron enters the oven and comes out ready after about four minutes. Television cooking is shrinking time, making food fast. The secret law of TV cooking programs is that viewers do not cook. Viewers of those programs eat snacks, microwave meals, sandwiches, because television cooking programs not only reduce cooking time, but also rub it. We eat chicken bites and ketchup and learn to fill cannelloni, bite pastrami sandwich and mayonnaise, and watch the takeout of roast chicken, forest mushrooms, and winter roots. Eat biscuits and watch homemade ice cream on Tartatan in Provence. We eat and watch TV and not the plate in front of us. And dream how on the weekend or on the summer vacation we will eat for real like in the movies. Messages and advertisement for food products are embedded throughout the program. The purpose of the cooking show is to get viewers not to cook. They are asked to buy snacks, to order pizza on the phone, and to purchase a microwave heated meal. It is a culinary suppression mechanism that links processed food to real food, between reality and fantasy. And that is the reason I remain you again to subscribe this channel and get the best foodie videos on your main screen. Thanks for watching, see you on the next!